So in this episode, you, you will learn how to start, grow and scale a private football academy in Spain. So if you are a coach, you're looking to move to Spain or you're currently based in Spain and you've got this idea of starting a training academy, then this video will help you and it will give you simple steps that I have used with coaches that I've worked with who have moved to Spain, started a training academy and have grown and scaled to the next level. So I hope you enjoy this video and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. Hey coach, welcome back to this new episode. So today I'm going to be talking about how to build or how to start and grow a, a soccer training business in Spain. So for those that don't know, I'm currently based in the south of Spain at the moment. I'm here for work and something that I've helped in the last six months is I've helped a company go from the UK to Spain and grow and scale a private training business. So I've got experience with, with this, type of, um, this type of project. And also at the moment, I'm currently working in, in, a, in a couple of clubs, helping them with different, different projects in order to help them to, to grow and expand their business operations. So in terms of the Spanish market, I'm quite familiar at the moment now with how things work. So if you want to get in contact with me, visit the description below. I'll be happy to get on a call with you and we can discuss further. So for those that are thinking of starting a football academy business in Spain, I want to be completely honest with you. It's probably been one of the hardest projects that I have done or I've ever done. And there's a number of reasons, and I'm going to get into the, these reasons uh, during the course of, of the video. So if you're looking to start a private football academy in Spain or a, or a business in general, right, the first thing you have to do is you have to register the business. Okay. Now, the first thing I would recommend is get in contact with a, an accountant that is in your uh, local area. So if you aren't familiar with Spain, or if you are in Spain, then you will know that certain regions operate as autonomous. So when you go from one region to the other, uh, the, the taxes, the laws uh, of business, they change. So where, whichever city or whichever region in Spain that you are currently in, get in contact with an accountant that will be able to help you to start and register the business. Okay. Now, the second step is find a venue, right? Finding a venue for me was the biggest struggle and I'll explain why. So in Spain, most of the facilities uh, throughout the country are all run by the local council. Here they call them the ayuntamientos, right? Which is essentially the local, the local, um, the local councils or lo local government. Uh, most of everything is is owned by the local council, and that makes it quite difficult for a private trainer like yourself to go out and want to start a private training business. So when I was researching on different areas for this company to, to, to move to Spain and to start a, a football academy business. Um, obviously, I did research different avenues. Uh, went to some public uh, places, such as uh, local clubs. Um, in Spain, there's loads of soccer fields, but as I just mentioned, most, or if all, uh, are all owned by the local council, okay? And what they tend to do is they give priority to the local youth uh, soccer clubs in the area, which means that you can hire them out, but the times that you will be able to hire them out are going to be times where kids are going to probably be at school and 
The times that you want, which are the peak times, those times are often given to uh, clubs to use. But what I found uh, were we, we, we had success with is finding private venues. So when I talk about private venues, I mean uh, private sports centers that they might have a, a soccer field. Uh, throughout Spain, there are a number of private venues that you can look to, to potentially hire. Uh, I would go just go onto Google, do a research on that. Also, look at where uh, Facebook was a good one for me as well. So what I did was I researched on Google local um, local soccer fields, local football fields in the area I was in, but also I used Facebook to join groups. So groups such as where expats play um, or where adults play seven-a-side or five-a-side uh, leagues, and that just helped me to give an idea, right, okay, where are these leagues being played? Okay, because normally where those leagues are played are going to be in private venues. That was the first one. And also something really, really um, that worked quite well as well is if you go to golf resorts, okay, golf resorts or hotels uh, in touristy areas. Sometimes these places have a small five-a-side uh, soccer fields that you can potentially go in, uh, either partner with the organization and run training sessions for them, for their, their clients, or you can hire them out at specific times of the day. Now, the third one is building your program. So once you've got the business registered legally, once you have uh, found a venue, the next one is building your training program. So something I would recommend in Spain is if you're going to start an academy, I would typically go for the group training model. So anywhere between six to 12 players per group, that is just going to be a lot more beneficial, especially if you're restricted on time um, with the availability of the venue or facility that you're going to be hiring out. So I would try and build a training program around a group training rather than trying to build a one-to-one -one training program. So focus your model around groups and on trying to get uh, customers committed for longer. Something that works really well and something that works with us is a subscription-based uh, model where parents are paying a monthly fee per month for group training. Uh, and then the fourth one is promote and market. Okay, something that we we used is we found someone that specializes in Facebook ads. So we paid someone to help us with the reach. So someone that is a specialist in, in Facebook ads that can help us reach our target audience. Now, that's just one paid way that you can do it. Another way is going into schools, going into centers, right, and just handing out flyers and speaking to parents, right? The same way that when I talk about starting a business in the UK or in the US, in Australia, in Canada, in other markets, it's exactly the same way. How can we get ourselves in front of our target audience? Um, and then the fifth one is offering camps, right? If, for those that aren't too familiar with Spain or for those that are in Spain, you will know that uh, in Spain, there is a three-month uh, school break in the summer. Okay, Essentially, kids are away from school for 12 weeks. So that is a fantastic time. Okay, It's very similar to the way uh, schools in the United States work. Okay, And it's a great time to run camps. Right, Camps is something that probably works the best in Spain just because there's a lot of holidays dura, uh, during the year uh, for kids. And a lot of kids are out of school. It could, be through, it could be during Christmas, it could be during Easter, it could be during the summer holidays. Right? Those are great opportunities to start and run camps uh, with your business in, in Spain. Okay? If you need more help, if you're currently based in Spain and you want to reach out to me, 
you can do in, in the description below. Also, if you're looking to move to Spain or you're looking to start a soccer training business in Spain, we do get a, viewers and coaches from all around the world that watch our channel. So if you're currently in Spain and you've come across the video, reach out to me. Love to chat uh, with you one on one. You can book a free call. Visit the description below. Uh, we can jump on Zoom, have a little chat, see where you're at and see if I can help you in any way. Okay, thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all our latest content.